All right, guys, so what we're going to look at now, a different type of leak. So we talked about the weather bird and that one there. This one here, you've got the ridges of the roof. So up here, you've got the pan of the roof sheet here. That's where all the water runs down. So the water will be running down here, and it's quite a large hole here. Around about six millimetre diameter sort of hole there. So what we're going to have to do is we've got to try to stop the water running down there, going into it, and the water come across the top of whatever we're going to put in there. Got to be really careful what we use, because some things will work, some things won't. So we stick something on there, it doesn't work. We get down off our ladder, put our system away. It doesn't work, all the water runs straight through and we're coming back to do it again. So we've got to make sure that little tiny repair gets done properly. So first thing we can see on our roof, it's mould. So it's black mould there. It's a little bit damp at this stage. Nothing will stick to that. So we have to remove that mould there. If we had metho or something like that, that's okay. Well, we can generally just use our water. So what we do is we get a wet rag. It's going to take a little bit of work to do this one. So what we're going to do is get our rag. We're going to keep wiping it. Moving it around, wiping it. We want to get as clean as we possibly can with this rag first. And a good square over here, because we're going to use some different materials to seal it up. So once we've done that one there, get our dry rag again. And we want to make sure it's dry as possible. Now if it's raining, we're going to have a little bit of trouble there, but we can still use this one here, which is um, basically uh, a two-type pack material that we can use. It's called flash tack, but we'll get that one there. So now that I've dried out that, really good if you've got some paper hand towel. Paper hand towel is probably the best thing at the end. Very absorbent, okay? That'll suck any extra moisture up, rubbing it nice and hard as possible. And now we can see our little hole in there, or it's quite a big hole, uh, what we need to seal up, okay? Now we need to make sure that when we seal it up, we can use two things. We have got extra things in our little kits. We've got the cloth tape or gaffer tape. It's not gonna do much for us at all in this situation. So no point in bringing that money out. We did well with the whirly bird, that was fine. Um, what we're gonna use here, we've got the flash tack. So you can see the flash tack comes in a roll like that. Okay, so roll, sometimes they're bigger, smaller rolls, bigger, whatever it is. Quite expensive to use, okay, so if we waste it. So for instance, we wouldn't wanna do this. Do that one, and 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 waste a whole roll on the whirly bird when we could fix it with the way we did before, by just putting something else a lot easier to use. That way we've got more of that to use for other jobs. This is ideal for this job here, or we could use silicon. What I've done is I screwed a screw into the tip of our silicon gun. The idea of that is if I don't use that for a while now, it's not actually going to get air in there and make the silicon go off, because air is what makes that silicon go not reasonably hard, it's still flexible. So what we're going to do is undo the screw out of there, as you can see, okay, keep the screw for next time when you want to put it back in again. Same thing as we did before with this one, we can actually get our silicon and squeeze it right in. Okay, so we're going to make sure we get a good run there. Once again, we're going to take our gloves off and we would push it down as much as we can to create a surface there. Probably not the best of surfaces because as the water's coming down, eventually that could actually work its way under. As you can see this roof sheet, it's painted. So the silicon's only gonna stick on as well as the paint sticking onto the metal. So yeah, once again, it's okay, but probably not the ideal way of doing it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rub that away. Also, for safety wise, when you do have a hole in the roof like that, just be careful whatever it is hasn't created little sharp edges here so when you're rubbing the silicon on with your finger you cut your finger because then you're going to get silicon stuck in there as well so if there's a little sharp edge you get your hammer and tap the sharp edge down that way you've got a nice smooth surface to work for now let's look at our tack, flash tape so that flash tack comes in that roll like i said what also happens with the flash tack you can see here silver on one side the silver is the side that goes up of course what's that going to do is reflect the UV so it doesn't break it down. On the other side, we have a protective tape there. Once you do tape that off, be careful you don't get it sticky everywhere. But at the moment, not too bad. Now this stuff here is not very sticky when it's cold. The more it warms up, the better it sticks. So what we're going to do is we go down to here, put it onto our roof, okay, and then we're gonna start working it. Now, if I just stick that like that, and walk away, come straight off. Okay. What we need to do with our flash tap, and as you can see here, this is the roof that's done be done before. You would not be able to get that off. Okay, it's stuck down so hard. So what they do is put it in here like that, put it on, work it. Now what you want to be doing is warming it up. Okay, so I'm rubbing it and rubbing it, and you might spend a good five or so minutes on here rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. 
Okay, we need it with our gloves on. I find it's good with the fingers because you're using that heat to warm it up. Okay, so once we've done that, we can leave that. The longer it stays there, the better it sticks. So when the sun comes back out, the heat hits it. What it does to this, it actually makes that surface there. Now I call it a tar surface, it's not really tar. It's just a sticky base. Once it gets hot, it gets more and more sticky all the time. Um, so as we keep working it, now we're in an air-conditioned building, so it's a little bit harder. Um, we've even got it where we use a little heat torch um, just to go at the top of it to heat the roof up a little bit, if need be, but you, know, you won't want to have one of those. So the more I work it, the better it gets. Okay, working our way through it. What happens now is our main point is here, so we want to make sure we work the top as much as possible. Our water comes down, hits that, runs over the top and keeps going. The good part about this, that would probably last 10 years. We reflect it there, as I said, it's UV reflection, protects our membrane underneath, which stops the water coming into our hole. Now you might ask why I didn't do it on the hole, because I had silicon all over there, and I don't think to this material here will stick on our silicon base. Okay, but we'll try it anyway, so we'll run it like that. Okay, now you notice I went over the overs here, that way we're not going to get water coming in here and going that way. The only place water can run is there. So make sure you cover over the overlips, and you could even take it over a little bit further and go down and there and there. 